Hi guys, welcome back. This week we've been learning about oceans and today we're going to be focusing on pirates and we're going to be doing jellyfish craft as well. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh. Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. anything about pirates. I know a song about pirates and I enjoy singing this one so much. Are you ready to join in with me? When I was one I hurt my thumb I ran away to sea I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me we'll go this way and that way and forwards and backwards across the rolling sea a bowl of jelly to fill my belly oh that's a life for me. Ahoy! When I was two, one, two, I lost my shoe. I ran away to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we'll go this way and that way and forwards and backwards across the rolling sea. A bowl of jelly to fill my belly, oh that's a life for me. Ahoy! When I was three, one, two, three, I hurt my knee, uh-oh. I ran away to sea, I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we'll go this way and that way and forwards and backwards across the rolling sea, a bowl of jelly to fill my belly, oh that's a life for me, ahoy. Okay guys, now Lauren's gonna read a book about a pirate. Let's go and see what she's up to. Hi everyone, we're going to read the story Wardiff and the Pelican Pirates. So get comfy. Are you all listening? Are you ready? All right. So Wardiff and the Pelican Pirates. Oh, we've got some pictures here. This one says Wanted, Captain Bill Barnacle. Looks like these pelicans are all pirates. We can see a boat and we've got the pirate there looking through his spyglass. And over here we have a boat with some penguins on it. Let's see what happens next. Wardiff and the Pelican Pirates. 
Down at the harbour, the fishing boats were due back. Wardiff, who was partial to a bit of fish, just happened to be there too. But when the boats came into view, something was wrong. N O F I S H. No fish. Oh dear, thought Wardiff, that spells trouble. Wardiff, we've been plundered by a posse of pelican pirates, cried the skipper of the first boat. They took everything. We can't do without fish, cried the penguins. It's all we eat. Wardiff, do something, help. Okay, I've got a brilliant idea, said Wardiff. Already, said the penguins. Amazing. What is it? Well, with a problem like this, I usually find it helps to sleep on it. There was a pause. That's your brilliant idea? Don't worry, replied Wardiff. Hopefully there'll be another one nesting in my head by the time we all wake up tomorrow. Night, night, sleep tight. Wardiff is over there, fast asleep. The penguins, I don't think, agree with Wardiff that he should sleep on it. Anything yet, said a penguin -y voice, a little too early the next morning. Something told Wardiff that the penguins hadn't been sleeping on it. I don't think they've been asleep at all. They've been watching water for the whole time. Slowly, he got to his paws, stretched and started trawling for thoughts. And there in the far corner of his mind was the gentle glimmer of a brilliant idea taking shape. Yes, said Wardiff. I think I've got something. All right, here's the plan. Load two crates on e onto each boat, fill the crates with heavy rocks, close up the crates. Got it? Got it, said the penguins. Good, let's hop to it then. There's the crates there that they've stacked up and there's the rocks. The penguins hopped to it. Well, it was more of a waddle really and soon the crates were loaded. Right, time to go fishing, said Wardiff, for pirates. The penguins set a course for the treacherous, treacherous waters where the pirate shipped, the pirate shipped proud. It, was long, it wasn't long before the greedy gannet sailed into view. Ship ahoy, cried the skipper on the first boat. Everyone into position. We can see another animal down here, a crab. And there's the pirates in the distance. Moments later, Captain Bill and his crew jumped aboard. So lovely to see you all again, me hearties, he roared. Now hand over your fish. We haven't got any, said the penguins. Oh, really, scoffed the captain. What's in those crates then? Rocks, answered the penguins. Rocks, thundered Bill. Do I look stupid? The penguins didn't answer that one. Grab them, lads, bellowed the captain. The pirates heaved the heavy crates onto their ship. Phew, there must be some whoppers in here, he chortled. But Captain Bill was hungry for more fish. Come on, boys, let's get after the next boat, he cried. So they took the crates with rocks on them. The pirates caught the second boat in no time at all and loaded two more crates onto the greedy gannet. Look, look lively lads, cried Captain Bill. There's another fishing boat getting away. Eventually they caught the third boat and clambered aboard. Look here, joked Bill as he spotted the crates. More rocks. The pirates howled with laughter as they lugged them onto the ship. But as the last crate was loaded on, my goodness, what's happening? All those rocks, it looks like they're making the boat very heavy. What do you think is gonna happen next? So the last crate was loaded on, but the greedy gannet began to tip at an alarming angle. We're going down, yelled one of the pirates. Jump! Save the fish crates, cried Bill, but it was too late. The ship disappeared beneath the waves and sank like a stone, or six crates of stones to be precise. Hurrah, cheered the penguins. The seas are safe again. Not if you're a fish, said Wardiff. You do still catch fish, I presume. And so the penguins headed back to shore doing what they do best. But they've caught all the ship, the fish. There was a stupendous feast when they got back to port. We were wondering if you might like to come on board full time, Wardiff asked one of the skippers through a mouthful of haddock. We could pay you in fish. That could be very interesting indeed, replied Wardiff snoozily, but he yawned. I'm going to have to sleep on it. Night, night, sleep tight. And that's 
the end. Finish. What can we see here? We can see a shark fin. And it looks like the moon and the ocean of a night of a night time. Well, that was an exciting story. Thank you so much for listening. We have some um, other another song that we sing about the ocean, and there's some animals that live in the ocean. They have they're jelly-like and they have long tentacles. Do you do you know what that is? You're right, it's a jellyfish. So we're gonna sing a song about a jellyfish and this song is called Three Jellyfish. So we're gonna start and the song goes like this. It goes three jellyfish, three jellyfish, three jellyfish sitting on a rock. Goes like this. And so we're gonna do some counting, okay? So we're gonna sing it again, you ready? Three jellyfish, three jellyfish, Three jellyfish sitting on a rock. One jumped off. Oh, that's sad. How many are left? <gasps> there are only one, two jellyfish left. Two jellyfish, two jellyfish, two jellyfish sitting on a rock. One jumped off. Splash. <gasps> How many are left? There is only one left. One jellyfish, one jellyfish, one jellyfish he's sitting on a rock. He jumped off, <gasps> splash. Oh, there's no jellyfish left. No jellyfish, no jellyfish, no jellyfish he's sitting on a rock. <gasps> one jumped on, hooray. There is one jellyfish on the rock. So we'll sing one again. One jellyfish, one jellyfish, one jellyfish sitting on a rock. Another one jumped on, hooray! How many are there now? There's one and two. Two jellyfish, two jellyfish, two jellyfish sitting on a rock. One jumped on, hooray! How many now? One, two, three. Three jellyfish, three jellyfish, three jellyfish sitting on a rock. Hooray, good job, well done. That was really exciting, I loved singing that song. We're going to create our own jellyfish now. So we're going to go over and see what Renee's doing and we're going to go and create some jellyfish. Come on, let's go. That was a great story. Thanks, Lauren. Who enjoyed that about the jellyfish? I know I would have. Today we're going to make some jellyfish. I've got a cup I can make a jellyfish with and Lauren's got a plate. Awesome. At home to make your jellyfish, you can use some paint. We've got all different colors here, blue, red, green, pink, and yellow. We've got some streamers here, just made out of craft paper. You can use string at home or anything you may find around your house and some textures. So first of all, I'm going to paint my cup. And Lauren, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna create my jellyfish using my plate. So I'm actually gonna use some scissors to cut my paper plate all the way down the middle and straight in half. So I'm gonna have two halves. So what started as a circle now is semicircles. And so this is going to be the head of my jellyfish. And so I'm going to start to create my legs. I'm going to use, I think some streamers. So I'm going to start with the yellow and you may need some help with this from mum's dad's, but I'm going to use a stapler and what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple my streamer on. And so we've made one jellyfish leg. And so how are you going with your jellyfish, Renee? I going... painted mine. I've got some lovely blue and green on mine because I think that's really cool colors for the ocean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stick my jellyfish legs on with just paint. Let's see how it goes. One. I might put the green one out, two, another blue one, three, and another red one, four. One, two, three, four. Now I've made a cup jellyfish. 
I think I might put some eyes on there. I'm just about finished my jellyfish tentacles. And I have finished my jellyfish tentacles. How amazing does that look? That's so awesome. But my jellyfish needs eyes. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to draw my eyes on. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to choose blue eyes. So I'm going to draw some eyes on. So to draw eyes, I'm going to need two circles, the dot in the middle, like that. And there's my jellyfish eye. Beautiful. Another way you can make eyes if you can, if you are still learning to draw circles is I think I might even use some patty tees. And I'm going to need some paint for some glue on the back. And then I'm going to pop it and glue it on. So I'm going to glue on the bottom and glue over the top. And then you can just draw a circle in. Wow. The middle. How and cool is that? And there is my jellyfish. Wow, they're both jellyfish, but they're using different items. How amazing is that? Yours looks so great, Renee. Yours too, Lauren. Well done. Thank Hello. you. Hello. <laughs> you can make um, your own jellyfish and you can create three and sing the jellyfish song as well, just as the song that I did before. So that, would be, that would be very exciting. Um, so yeah, congrats. well done everyone. So when you create your three jellyfish at home, you can then practice counting. So you can sing your three jellyfish and you can sing one, two, three jellyfish. And then you can even try doing it backwards. So you can do three, two, one jellyfish. And so you can make as many jellyfish as you like. And so you can display them around your house. You can then take pictures and as we said, show your teachers, we would love to see them. So thank you so much for joining us in learning about jellyfish and creating jellyfish and um, listening to the story and, and joining in on our songs. We can't wait to see what, get, what you get up to. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye.